Hi, I'm Steve Healy. Hi, I'm Steve Westerman. We're from Aging Well Incorporated. Um, during the pandemic time and the COVID time, we've tried to reach out to people and we thought one fun way to do this is to do summer lunch. That's right. We're gonna try and be sort of healthy, but you know, it is summertime. Right. Yours is more healthy than mine. <laughs> It's all healthy. It's all good. Yes, and it is. And it's fresh. It's Absolutely. Fresh. So that's the good thing. So the thing that we're going to do today is I'm going to do a cranberry chicken salad over a bed of sweet baby lettuce. And I'm going to do a watermelon salad over a bed of arugula. Now, the thing that we have is we're trying to make things easy. What I did today was to prepare is a rotisserie chicken. It would take time to take everything off. I went to Shaw's Market and they have rotisserie chicken that's already taken off the bone, which is wonderful. So what I've done is I've chopped it and I'm gonna put it into the mixing bowl. I've got a little bit more than a half of a sweet onion. And I have some celery. Washed and diced. Now the other thing that we're gonna do is Hey, are those cranberries healthy? You know what, Steve? Mine were not healthy. The ones that you told me to get have less sugar in them. Well, that's because our infamous uh, director of a wellness program told me, look for those cranberries, those dried cranberries, because they're only 25 calories. That's right. Versus 140 in and the you, other package that you were gonna get. And, that I did get. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. As you see, <laughs> but 20, I don't, it's, you know, there's not really much to this. I'm putting some cranberries in, depending how much you like, a little or a lot. Hey. And we can adjust this to our taste. This is about a pound, okay? Just about a pound, which, you know, quarter person, quarter pound per person, four people can have this, so you can have it for later on. We're also gonna put some, if I get them open. So a question on, for one person or two, is the price pretty, oh, so this is $4.87 for this uh, pound of, Pound, just about a pound. Yeah, just about a pound of chicken. So that's that's easy. That's really easy. Then you don't have to pull it off the bone. No, it's very easy to do. And you found it at Shaw's. I found it at Shaw's wow, in North Providence. Well, you know, I know there's not one up in this area. Right. There's two very close. So yeah. you're you're such a, uh, a bargain hunter with uh, finding best prices and. Well, I wanted to make things easy too. It's summertime, and like next week is going to be very warm. Yeah, just mixing week. this in, yeah. So something like this is something you can start, set it, forget it, and it's all set to go. Yeah. We're mixing this all together. You know, I did, for the sake of time, I did take some of the chicken and I did cut it up a little a little bit more, okay? okay? Yeah, that's good. Now I'm gonna be good with the mayonnaise. Now I'm using Hellman's. I love Hellman's mayonnaise. Um, is it Hellman's light? No. No, well that's okay. Not you today. You, well, you happen have to, to have it today. Well, we have to things are on sale too. Okay, all right. And we're just gonna take this. There's some people that like a lot of mayonnaise, like Penny and me, but we just need enough. But the rotisserie chicken has such a nice flavor. And, it's up. It's up. and you know, it really is kind of seasoned, so there's really no reason to put any other spices in there like salt or pepper, but they can always be added later. Right, we like our salt a lot of this, right? Yes. So we did put the we put the almonds in there for a little crunch and the um, celery. Now, ideally, in a perfect world, what we would do is we would let these flavors melt for a little while in the refrigerator. But for the sake of time, we have pre-washed Olivia's. I know. I have to say, I I always go that way. It just makes it so much easier. But it is much cheaper to buy a head of lettuce and to clean it with the uh, lead. It is, but this is, this is, I but think this, this is, is easier. I know, it is. And you get a, a, maybe a week out of it if you're lucky. Right? Yeah, you know what I do? I put a paper towel mm -hmm. at the bottom. Oh, that's a good idea. To absorb the moisture. To absorb the moisture. And then that, it, it stays fresher a little bit longer. That's smart. So, and then we just take this. And if you want to be fancy. It's all about the presentation, right? Yep, want to be fancy. We will do. Oh, you are, you're good when it comes to that. See, will you cater my next party? Absolutely. All right. That's will, you, great. will you give me cocktails? Yeah. Okay, sure. then it's a deal. All right. You can bring your, your bathing suit too and go for a swim after you work. Terrific. How's that? 
Now, if we want to be fancy, we can do a little of this. Too. I do like those nuts, though, when they're already sliced up like that. That does, that makes it real easy. But they're usually a lot more money, but I bet you got a good price on them. Where'd you get them? Aldi's. Oh, Aldi's, of course you got a good price on them. The yard sale market. Don't call it that, it's a wonderful place. It is a wonderful place. I just don't know my way around. Doesn't take long to get through it. Doesn't, doesn't take long at all? Nope. And I hope you enjoy. That looks delicious. Oh God, I can't wait. And no bread, which is a good thing. Correct. So we're gonna keep our carbs down. All right, if we wanted to, we could probably get some whole wheat or pita bread. Pita bread, yeah. Pita bread would be nice. Yeah. And I think that's all set. You know, you might want to put a little dressing on the side of the salad. A little right. oil and vinegar might work nicely. Oh, oil and vinegar. But I wouldn't do that until you have it served. Okay. Okay. Wow, you look good. You're really good. So that's what I have for you today. Okay, so just for a review of what we did today, um, we used the rotisserie chicken that I got at Shaw's Market, which is already pre-cooked and seasoned. I used about a pound of that. We used about, about a half of a sweet onion, chopped. We used a, a stock or so of celery, washed and cut. I did use the healthy craisins, and I think I've got to tell you what I was putting in, and that's the slivered almonds. That's great. And of course, then we used mayonnaise just to hold it together mm -hmm. over the bed of greens and ready to go. Wow. So I'm, this is the Steve and Steve show. So I'm doing the second part. I'm doing the salad and I'm doing a watermelon salad today just because most of the watermelon right now is really fresh and sweet. Um, there are ways to check watermelon. I was looking it up, I Googled it. There's something about the where the watermelon lays, if it's yellow or... It's also the veining green. too. It's what? The veining. And the veining, here. right. So the veining, it, the more veins, the sweeter. And this, and you want it to be a little yellow. Yes. Where it lays, because that means it's, uh, it's right, usually. Okay, so we start, um, I started today on the tray, and I did greens too, so you're gonna have a lot of greens in today's lunch. But I started with arugula, because the watermelon recipe that I'm telling you about uses arugula. If you don't like arugula, you can use spinach, you can use mixed greens, whatever you want. But you know, I think that's nice because the, it's a little peppery, which might offset a little bit of the sweet melon too. Okay, so that's, that's I didn't realize arugula is peppery. To me, it's a little bitter, but that's... Well, know. that's the pepper flavor. Okay. Yeah. All right, so then on the watermelon, what I do is I cut up the watermelon into larger pieces, as you can see, and then I'm just gonna arrange it on top. Um, I know the larger pieces are hard to eat, but when we serve it, you have a knife and a fork, you cut the watermelon, of course, yourself, if it's too big for you to eat, but um, it works out good to have it. I think it looks better with the presentation when it's bigger pieces. That's just my opinion. Um, okay, so then you place the watermelon. It's really simple. The next ingredient is I'm using uh, gorgonzola blue cheese, gorgonzola cheese. The original recipe calls for feta cheese. I prefer the blue cheese. You can use goat cheese. You can use any kind of cheese that you want. But today I'm gonna use the blue cheese because I think with this, like Steve said, the sweet and then the goat cheese are opposite ends of the taste spectrum. So what I do is I just sprinkle it around and it won't stay on the watermelon, of course, but they'll scoop it up when they go to serve it. And some people like it, and some people don't have to use it. Your choice, or we'll use very little. Okay, so then we use the goat cheese. Okay, then what we're gonna do is I have mint. So- And that's from your garden, isn't it? The mint is from my garden. You can buy mint at the market. Mm -hmm. It can be pricey sometimes, depending, um, especially if it's in those little packages and stuff. So look for like maybe a big stalk of it like you can get at the market or grow it in your garden. It's a perfect time to grow and it comes back. It's a back. good container. It's good in containers too. Yeah, and it comes back every year a lot. In my, my yard it does. So anyway, I, I usually use, uh, I cut it up pretty small. I usually use scissors, but you rinse it first, especially if it's out in the uh, yard, in the garden. And then you just sprinkle that in with more, so it's more green, but it's giving it a different taste. You've got layers of taste coming yeah. in with that. Yes. Now there's all kinds of different mints. This chocolate mint, there's regular, there's lemon mint, there's all different mints. It doesn't matter, whatever your taste calls for. And there's spearmint and different ones. So then there's the mint, okay? 
Then what we're gonna do, if you like nuts and you're not allergic to nuts, okay? A lot of times when we go out to parties this day and age, nuts are always on the side, right? That's correct, okay. that's correct. But I'm gonna put them on it just to show you, just for presentation purposes. And I use walnuts, just not the candy, well, I love those candy, well, candy, 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 candy yeah. walnuts. But we're not doing those today because those are, that's not healthy eating, is it? Well, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, these are easy to break off, especially if they're fresh. They break up nice and easy. And, and you get all the food groups in here because you have the fruit, you have the you have, the, you have your produce, you have the fruit, you have your dairy with the cheese and the also which is a protein with it too. We also have the nuts, which is a good substance of protein as well. There you go. Thank you for that information. You are a, a wealth of information. I know. You're like a walking encyclopedia of health. My eating. useless knowledge too, but All you know, right. that's besides the point. And then the last thing that I put on mine, and it's totally up to you for, for taste, is lemon juice. You can squeeze a fresh lemon. That's what I, I do. I, I don't have a fresh lemon today. Oh, I wouldn't so I'm just going to drizzle this on the watermelon pot, pretty much. That's what I do. I just drizzle it a little. And that's it. And that that's the presentation for the watermelon salad. Um, it's very tasty, um, as long as you get a good watermelon. If you Usually this time of year you do, you know Correct. what I mean? Yeah. Correct. So, and watermelon, go, is, you can get it pretty inexpensive right now. You know, right. Yeah. So now's the time to go for it. I so Steve, say. maybe what we should do is just go over the list of ingredients again of what you did use. Okay. And then if anybody wants to make that at home, they'll have that one. But we're also going to make sure that the recipe is available if you'd like it. Okay. Yes, we will. So then to start, I the same as Steve, I bought the prepackaged arugula. Okay. You can buy it different, I guess, but this pretty is much easier. Like that. Pretty yeah. much like that usually not too expensive it'll last you so you start with that you spread it out on your tray then you go to your watermelon once again you can cut it up into smaller pieces totally up to you but i do like larger pieces mm. just for presentation purposes you know and then people kind of take like a salad they usually take like three pieces of the watermelon or four okay so then it's the watermelon then it's the blue cheese remember the original recipe was feta cheese i personally don't like feta cheese it's Salty or whatever. Blue cheese is salty too, don't get me wrong. Do you know what's a good feta cheese though? There's a French feta, which is wonderful. And I'll have to get that for us. Okay, okay. So feta, blue cheese, or goat cheese. You can use just plain goat cheese. Correct. Okay? But it's nice to have the feta or the blue cheese to contrast the flavors, correct? So then then your nuts, your walnuts, alright? Just breaking them up. Totally your choice. You can use almonds, you can use walnuts, whatever you choose, or no nuts, and on the side. And my last ingredient was just to sprinkle with lemon. Of course, a fresh lemon is always nicer, but I just brought this because we were on the go. And that completes the watermelon salad. So you have a, a great lunch here today. And this is very healthy. This yes, is. it is. Yeah, it, is. it really is. I mean, mayonnaise, some people say mayonnaise, but you know what? I like mayonnaise. And really, how much more, if you go with the light mayonnaise that we really go up talking about. Not really not much. Really not much. really much. You can go a little for a little longer walk the next day, right? That's right. There you go. All right, so so I think that about completes our, our luncheon. For today. Our luncheon today, yes. I, I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please let us know because we're gonna try and do this again. Yeah. Um, and the recipes will be available upon request. Yeah, so what, do, they, do they do that thing, that tech thing where they uh, like us to, or? You know, we'll hold off till oh, the next episode. Yeah, that'll be the next episode. Thing, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. explain it to you. Okay, you can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. Until next time, stay well. All right, bye now. Over and out. Thank you. All right. So I guess we'll give this a try. All right, it looks delicious, and I'm hungry. You hungry? This is good. This is living proof that we practice what we preach. All right, yeah, because we're willing to eat it, right? Good. You know what I'm gonna do, Steve? So, okay. I'm here with that. So one other thing uh, that I did leave out is dressing, because I use the lemon, uh, sprinkle of the lemon juice. You have options with your dressing on this, but we were talking about it just before we came back on, and balsamic, a balsamic uh, vinaigrette, just a, a little bit of drizzle of that would be delicious on the watermelon, if you're interested in that. And I think Steve's got... I've got... Olive oil. Olive oil. And, I've got a little, and he does have it. So. I have a little balsamic I'm going to put on here. Okay. Oh, you're not going to have any of that? Yeah. Well, you have such a big dish. I know. I guess you are hungry. I'm hungry. A little olive oil, huh? Can you sprinkle?
Do you mind sprinkling a little of that on one? Okay. Don't get mad at me now. Just a little. That's great. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, this looks really good. Yeah, I'm going to have some of this for sure. Healthy greens that we're doing. Next time I won't be getting healthy. How's that? <laughs> okay. So are you ready? I'm ready. So here goes. Mmm. The chicken's delicious. You did a great job. Well, I went to the store. How about the watermelon? I'm gonna give it a try right now. It's nice and sweet. I did. I tried a piece of it. Very good. Not bad, huh? I didn't think so. No, it's delicious. All right. So we hope you enjoyed yourself today, and that you enjoyed like sharing our little uh, recipes here that are easy and uh, for the summer. We'll, we'll be back again. We'll change up the recipe um, and we'll do something fun. But thank you for joining us and don't forget to try these recipes. I think you'll really enjoy them. I hope so. Until yeah. next time. And until next time. Thank you so much.